Hey guys, Mathel here again. And as you saw in the last video, I decided to make a, well, a one-hand version of my two-hand version, Earthquake Marauder Berserker. So to pull off a one-hand version, I went ahead and went fully crit, trying to cap crit so that every single slam will crit and will hit hard, will freeze, and do some good overkill damage with Herald of Ash as well. The concept behind the character is to use a one-handed scepter, slash mace, whatever you want to call it, uh, get really high crit, travel all over the tree to get this crit, have a dagger, sword, something like that in the offhand for whirling blades, which promotes a slightly faster playstyle than just leap slam, and still just maintain some level of tankiness and more or less be a melee character. Now, I am still using the Marauder and Berserker Ascendancy, so 40% more damage just gives you a bit more leeway to have shit gear, or just, you know, a bad weapon. Because in this entire version of the character, I'm running a 5 Chaos weapon, something like that, and they're fairly cheap and easy to buy. Not terribly easy to make, because Scepters are hard. Um, aside from that, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. I'll go over what you need to make the character yourself, if you want to make it. As far as pros and cons over the two-hand character, it's a bit harder to build than the two-hand character, because it is crit, so you will need um, certain gear pieces, so there's less flexibility there. A little bit more expensive, and a little bit less tanky. But the payout is you'll probably end up with better DPS if you can invest the right currency. You'll get some good freeze going from your actual crits, and you'll have a faster playstyle, which, for me, kinda felt better than the two-hand character, but the two-hand character was more complete overall, just for tankiness, survivability, and all that. One of the other pros of a build like this is you can use Ice Crash, um, Sunder, and Ground Slam all interchangeably as you see fit, so if Earthquake just really isn't your jam and you love Ice Crash, you can shove it in there. Ice Crash will do a lot more cold damage, so the freeze will be longer, and the shatters will be more reliable. But it does have that minus 25% attack speed, so it's just a bit... Mm, it's a bit clunkier to use, since we don't really stack too much attack speed anyway. But you can use Ground Slam, you can use Sunder. I found Earthquake probably clears the fastest, and Ice Crash is uh, really competitive with it too. So I'll go over the character itself to what you need to copy it. So here is the beast himself, and one of the positives of being a marauder in this sort of setup is you don't really need any microtransactions to look fairly badass. Uh, he's just fairly beefy, has wears items fairly well, and uh, yeah, just in general, doesn't really need microtransactions, but this journeyman helmet looks pretty cool in him anyway. Beside that, I am currently level 82, have 4300 life, and my next 10 levels or so are going to be filling out life. Uh, along there, there, and a few other places, there will be a passive tree up that you can look at at your leisure. So, the biggest problem with the character and passive tree is it is a shitload of traveling. I'm not entirely sure this is the most optimal and best way of building the character at this stage, but this is what I've decided to do in that I'm traveling just about everywhere. What I really kind of wanted to do was drop this entire area, but it would be a little bit harder to fill out crit without Twin Terrors, and a bit of accuracy as well. Because I'm really trying to not rely on power charges for the character at all, as sometimes they're unreliable, especially for things like Atziri, and having a high crit rate on things like Atziri is very important. So if you're missing your power charges and you actually need them, then you're kind of screwed. So I went everywhere to get as much crit as possible, which means you don't really pick up much uh, physical damage in total. There's not much from the tree on this sort of tree, just a few pieces here, a few pieces there, which means that your jewels are extremely important to have lots of fizz damage on them. So fizz, crit multi, fizz on there is really good. This one's a piece of shit. Um, I think I picked up another one here, some fizz, some fizz. Or you could rework the tree a bit, grab a couple of extra fizz nodes here as well. It's fairly flexible at this point, I'm not going to say this is the best way of doing it, but this is what I've got going. For our Ascendancy, went Berserker, 40% more damage to, uh, 40 more damage dealt, 10% damage taken. Can't really argue with that, pretty sweet. 
bunch of fizz and uh, attack speed here, also very nice too. The last two points don't really matter, pick whatever the hell you want. I went with uh, Warbringer, just because uh, that's going to help keep my endurance charges up at maximum really easily, since yeah, the cooldown is really short with that up. Plus it gives you a nice little regen for both your mana and your life. So now that that's taken care of, uh, let's have a look at the stats. My Earthquake without charges, with absolutely nothing up, is 88 crit. So that is extremely reliable crit, and that's where you get your consistency from. You can also shove power charges in there somehow, something like a Death's Hand offhand, not what I'm currently using, and that'll cap your crit. So it's not too hard to cap crit since my weapon isn't even that good. Um, 87 chance to hit with a golem means you're probably going to need at least one or two items with accuracy on them. Not that hard to get. Uh, resists, not really too hard to come by. Most of it's going to come from boots um, and belt, as well as potentially rings, chests, whatever. Should be able to handle that quite comfortably too. Actual defenses, I don't really have too many. 13% uh, from armor, because all of my armor is coming from this chest and it's not that amazing. 27% chance to evade. So there is room for improvement on defenses, but that's what I've got so far. The weapon itself, as I mentioned, I bought this thing for like 5 chaos. These, there's quite a few out there like this. What you're looking for is as slow as possible and as hard hitting as possible, and then just craft some crit onto it. Uh, crystal scepters are absolutely the ideal weapon for this because I think they're crystal scepters. They're 1.2 speed and they have 7 base crit, so if I had one of those I could cap crit so much easier, I just happen to not have one. It doesn't really matter if you get one faster either, because attacking faster is still beneficial, especially on single target. It's just that uh, your goal is to one-shot things with your initial hit and then the shockwave. Going for a rat's nest it just gives me a lot of attack speed, crit, and uh, well, that's about it, really. You don't necessarily have to use this. Something like a Star Conjures is a nice budget option. Gives you a lot of life as well. But uh, I also like the effect that Rat's Nest has on the character. Makes it very tiny. Um, besides that, there's nothing really too noteworthy to point out. Malagaras, I'd rather use some Face Breakers for the Crit Multi, but I do need Crit, so I went with those. Uh, just... A nice Rustic with some resist is always a good option. You don't necessarily need movement speed on your boots, but it is beneficial to get it, because I pretty much always whirl around. We have a very fast whirling blades on this character. So without the movement speed requirement, it is a lot easier to get a high life and resist pair of boots. Uh, rings, pretty easy to get, try and get diamonds I suppose, life, resist, accuracy, all the good stuff, fizz damage, amulet, same thing, nothing too important there, just crit multi, crit, life, I think you need some int somewhere, if I recall correctly, but not too much, still got plenty from the passive tree. Um, the offhand is kind of up for grabs, I went with just a high crit and crit multi dagger. But there's quite a few flavorful options that you can go for, like a Death's Hand, like a, um, I don't know, this one's actually pretty good, a Widowmaker, gives you a decent bit of crit, decent bit of crit multi, as well as 100% crit against enemies on full life. So your first hit will almost always guarantee a crit if you're wearing this um, in combo with all my other crit. There are a few options. Uh, feel free to explore them, but I just, for lazy man's way out, went with some crappy dagger. Gives you lots of crit and uh, just don't really have to worry about it. Aside from that, instant life flask, regen life flask, nice granite, nice stib knight, and I am still using a quicksilver even though I don't necessarily have to because of the whirl, but it is comfortable to um, quicksilver around every now and again. This, as far as the setup goes, you got your Earthquake, absolutely huge damage there. Um, your staple with the Earthquake is, of course, Lesturation. Don't go anywhere without it. Lesturation still gives you more damage, so don't feel bad about using it, but you absolutely need it for the uh, duration benefits. 
Um, next to that, crit strikes really ups our crit a lot for this build. So currently, I'm sitting at, uh, as I said, 88 crit. Take out your crit strikes, bam, 63. Pitiful, disgusting. So crit strikes, very good, very useful. Melee Fizz, that's probably your four link right there. Melee Fizz does a shitload of damage, of course. And then increased area once you're ready for it in your fifth link. Uh, sub swap in Conk effect for bosses makes you hit a lot harder. And yeah, gives you all the single target you need, so you don't need a separate single target ever. Your sixth link is probably something like added fire if you go for a sixth link as well. You could use faster attacks if you really wanted to. But added fire probably gives you the biggest DPS gain. Crit multi as well would be a decent option. Uh, any other setups? Hatred. That's basically your staple 50%. Going to give you a lot of DPS. And then you can go a Blasphemy or a Herald of Ash. Blasphemy vulnerability is a pretty damn good option for your DPS. But Herald of Ash gives a decent little bit of fire damage plus the overkill. Um, that spreads and burns a lot of guys, actually cleans up quite nicely. Sometimes you will miss a few monsters with a hit, sometimes you just quite won't hit a few, but quite often I've found that the Herald of Ash actually does very good work in helping clean up packs. Up to you if you want to use Blasphemy or Herald of Ash. That said, Green Herald of Ash is pretty amazing, so get on it. Um, your Whirling Blades setup, Whirling Blades, Blood Magic, Faster Attacks, and Fortify. A quality Faster Attacks and a quality Whirling Blades will help towards getting your Whirling Blades very quick. And that is also where your Fortify setup main is uh, held. Other than that, there's not too much important to notice. Blood Rage, definitely using that just for more attack speed, a bit of leech, and some Frenzy Charges. Makes your DJ just a bit annoying, but worth it, in my opinion, for the most part. Leap Slam for those times you don't have Welling Blades to go up a ledge. Uh, Enduring Cry keeps up my Endurance Charges, and Vulnerability as my Curse of Choice. That does need to be leveled a bit more, but the inter requirement just kind of sucks. Um, if you're going to use, let's say, Ice Crash, there's one thing you really have to do, and that is replace less duration with something like Wed. So you still have a 5 link there, it will be Ice Crash um, instead of Earthquake. But you just have to replace your less duration gem with a Wed gem. That's really all there is to know about the character. Bandits, I went with Life. Hack Speed, I believe. You probably could go Fizz and should go Fizz. And enduring cry, uh, Endurance Charge to keep up four Endurance Charges most of the time. I don't currently have a Cast When Damage Taken set up with Immortal Call, but it is recommended to get one. Uh, I just don't have one because, uh, I don't know, I'm living just fine with the sus sustenance from Enduring Cry, Granite, and Stib Knight. So I'm not ever taking off my Endurance Charges with Immortal Call. That's basically the character. There's not much else to say. Uh, feel free to try it out if you want something from a different pace to two-hand earthquake. Two-hand earthquake is still pretty good and can be pretty fast, but this one will be just a little bit faster. If you find yourself running into reflect, reflect problems, Valpact is your man. So far I've been okay with clever use of my granite and stibnite and all that, but I feel like if you do keep going up in DPS, Valpact is going to be essential. One other thing to note, if you're really crazy, you can shove an Abyssus into this build, which will double your damage. Sub out Rat's Nest, put in Abyssus, you will have twice as much damage. You will also take an absolute shitload of damage. That's your choice. So That's the one hand crit earthquake character. If you guys feel like trying it out, have a go. Pretty cheap, pretty easy to get going, and I'm sure you'll have fun with it. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Mathel. I have been, I still am, and I still will be Mathel. Uh, see you guys next time.